What's up, y'all? My name is Aaron Mallory, a.k.a. Mr. Let Go. And today we're about to talk about why good girls like bad boys. Let's get it. Before we get started, I just want to tell you this. This video is about to be very good. So as you get intrigued by this video and I'm talking and stuff, you're going to forget to hit the notification bell, the subscribe button, and the like button. So make sure to do that right now. And now we can get to the video. Now, whether you're a man or a woman, at some point in your life, you thought about this phenomenon. Why do good girls always go after the bad guys? Whether you're a guy or girl, you thought about this. I just want to go straight to the actual thing that trumps everything. Because you could say the guy is uh, spontaneous, the guy is edgy. Forget all that. See, I like to talk about the things that nobody else talks about. And in this situation, I'm talking about the woman and not the man. Forget about how he is, how he looks and what he does. What is the woman doing? What is the woman thinking? Why is the woman doing this? Well, I have the answer. Believe it or not, a woman's impact on a person's life directly affects her self-worth. If she can't make a person better, if she can't add something to another person, whether it's her friends, whether it's her family, or whether it's a man, she doesn't feel worthy. It's, to a certain degree, her purpose. Now, a woman can have a bigger purpose than that. It's just how women are naturally wired. See, a woman creates life. She adds, she multiplies, she fills. All these different terms are the essence of a woman. So when it comes to a friend, her job in her mind is, is to add, is to nurture, is to make better. When it comes to a man, it's the same thing. She has this need to, to bring something new to him, to multiply his, his dream to make something in his life better or to fill a void. See, a good man or, or a man that has it all together, sometimes she may look at that man like, he has everything. What am I here for? And this is the reason why she may look at a good man and say, no, nah, I'm good. Because the bad boy, regardless of what you guys may think about the bad boy, yeah, he's tall, he's edgy, he's fun, he's spontaneous. He may even have more money than the good guy. But he has a void in his heart. And she can see it. See, everybody else admires the bad guy because he's so attractive to women. But the reason why he's attractive to women is because he's missing something. And the woman can see it. And the women are attracted to him because all they want to do is fill that void he has. Make him better. See, the good guy, to a, to a certain degree, he's already better. He doesn't need that woman as much as a bad boy needs her. See, the bad boy needs her. See, the Tupacs, the Brad Pitts, those guys seem to have it all together, but they don't. They have all the money. They have all the women, but there's something missing. And she has the answer. Her job is to fill that void, the impact and the person that needs change. These two things give a woman her worth in society. What is she here for? What is she doing? Who is she? Well, it's her ability to nurture somebody. It's her ability to make somebody better. You know how people say a man can have a house, but the woman makes it a home. A man can bring home food and the woman makes it a meal. Well, this is the impact a woman has to have on her environment. I want you to think about this. Have you ever looked in a woman's house? It's always something in the corners. Virtually every corner, there's a plant. Every corner in every cupboard, there's something because she has this innate need to fill. But the problem is it has to be empty first. It has to be a space for her to fill. 
the good guy doesn't necessarily have the spaces open for her to fill. The bad boy, the reason why he's bad, he has some demons, he has some issues, he has anger issues, he doesn't want to do this because of that. Why? It's because he's actually more insecure than the good guy. See, the bad boy doesn't have any level of consistency. He's all over the place. So there's a void that the woman sees in him by just watching his inconsistent behavior, his bravado. She knows the man is insecure. And all she wants to do is fill that void. Because without the void that's missing, she doesn't feel worthy. What's crazy is I've talked to a significant number of women that told me straight up that they can't really see themselves dating a guy who's significantly smarter than her. And I would ask these women like, why? Because me in my life as a man, I would love to date a woman that's smarter than me because she'll challenge me. But to some women, they don't look at it as a challenge. They look at space. And with a guy that's significantly smarter than her, where's the space she's going to fill? Where's the void she's going to fill? But at the end of the day, she's actually looking for somebody that is as hurt, as lost as she is. Because her confidence is a little low. And sometimes she gets to the point where she starts to act like she's more than she is. See, what good girls actually do, they compare themselves to the bad girls. And in a way, they think they're better than the bad girls. They look at the bad girls like, see, I will never do that. I don't know what's wrong with those women. So she has this certain amount of ego without even realizing it. And so what happens is she, she gets attracted to a person with the same false ego. That is the bad boy. The bad boy she knows is, is afraid. The bad boy is simply being a bad boy to keep himself from being hurt. The bad boy is simply being a bad boy to keep himself from being hurt. The same thing she's doing. So it's like an easy situation for her because she can see him. She can tell the issues that he has. Nobody else can see it but her. And she looks at this guy like, yo, I can fix him. I can see his pain. So it's not like she's going after the edginess. That's just a part of it. Forget about all these other things. She sees his pain. She sees the void that needs to be filled. She sees the demons that he's running from. She's like, yo, I could take all of your demons away. All I want in return is for you to love me. So what does this mean for you? Say you're the good girl and you're thinking like, wait, do I actually have a void? Most likely you have. You have some issues that came from your childhood that have made you into who you actually are, who you're actually attracted to. And if you want to get away from that thought process, I have two videos that I want you to watch that can literally just change your whole dynamic. Just remember, you attract who you are. So if you're attracted to bad boys, there's a possibility that you have a couple of voids of your own that you need to have filled. There's a certain amount of insecurities that you have that you don't want to have. So what you do is, you look for another person to help cope with those voids and those insecurities, which is the bad boy. And you don't go for the good guy because you don't want that good guy to look at you and see your issues. Because you don't know what to do when he sees your issues. You may not be ready emotionally for that good guy. You may see that good guy and start thinking like, yo, he's too good to be true. So you would rather go to the bad boy. And it's not that you're so attracted to him. 
is that he's almost to a certain degree easy prey because he's not going to judge you because he has so many flaws. He has so many issues. So I want you to think about that the next time you go after that bad boy. Well, what if you're a guy looking at this? How do you attract the good girls? Or how do you attract this and that? Forget all that. Watch these same videos that I'm asking the women to watch. And it'll give you a good understanding of where you are in your life. If this video actually helped you or opened your eyes, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, comment what you think, and like the video. Like the video. Y'all have a good day.